A lot of people asked me recently how I managed to run a guest house, renovate a chateau, deal with two infants, girls, an adult wife who's a woman. But we're not alone. Look, he just arrived. Philip, I like your haircut. Yeah, thank you. I think he might have already broken about three chainsaws. It's never too early to teach your children how to use a shredder. Ah, oh, no! We're not still sure about what colour we're going for, but we're definitely not having orange. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville sur en fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. It's Monday, I just came back from dropping the kids off at school, but we're not alone, look who just arrived. Mum and Dad are here! It's been about two months, I think, since you were here, wasn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. How time flies. Yeah, <laughs> and obviously, when we saw all the storm damage, Dad was like, OK, I'm coming. I've got my chainsaw, chainsaw yeah. in the back. <laughs> yeah. But before we start, can we not have a bit of information about your kitchen? Yeah. Oh. We're dying to know what's going to happen. Yeah. I feel like it's time for an update. We had kind of a change of mind. And Anna, I must say the final idea for the kitchen is more what you wanted in the first place. So I was the one who compromised. The idea is now to keep as many of the original features as possible. For example, the doors that originally we thought, okay, they're not really practical, yes. but actually I love the fact that we have a symmetry either side of the yeah. chimney. And that's where we're going to work with Benoit. Okay. And he's going to, he's got a special technique where he can replicate the same moldings. Yeah. Yeah. And so we can reproduce it and make the panelling and make the cupboards go up a little higher. Mm -hmm. We're still going to lift up this beam here mm -hmm. to about here yeah. and, uh, and remove this wall. And then we are going to still have the piano, they call it in French. The, it's like the range cooker here yeah. in the middle. We're going to just move this door frame yeah. slightly over yeah. So that will allow us to keep these doors, ah, which we like, because it's the symmetry. symmetry yeah. So here, behind here, we'll have it all fitted out and we'll have it as like a coffee tea station. Yeah. So it can be closed away. I'm going to show you the drawing so you'll understand. Yeah, but no, yeah, I yeah. think I like Anna's description. She's doing a great job. <laughs> Sorry for all that. Right. No, we yeah, like Anna. Here you have details, you know, you have the numbers. We're doing the big, we'll the big picture at the moment. Philip just wants you to admire his uh, art. Philip, I think it's improving. It's right. improving, right. definitely. Okay, so here we're going to remove this door and I think what we can do is reuse it here probably for the broom cupboard. A cupboard which will be, you know, a, a full height cupboard on this side yeah. that will be for brooms and, you know, mm. everything yeah. like a cleaning cupboard. Recycling. Recycling as well. You could go pretty high with familiar cupboards. Yeah, you? yeah, we, we probably go sort of to this height, well, to the same height as that. Yes. And then there'll be a second cupboard above, which yeah. you can reach yeah. with a ladder or something. Yeah. It's a pity, John, I have a really nice drawing. Do you want to see it? <laughs> it, 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 so, it was so easy. There we go, Dad. Look, that's what, we're, that's oh, what we're thinking. Okay. This is going to be the full height cupboard on one end, closest to the door. And this will be a broom cupboard and for the recycling. Mm. And then we will have a nice work surface that we can have here with a washing up sink because a lot of people suggested mm. having two sinks and not having the washing up sink no. on the island. So this yeah. is literally like the cleaning up area. So mm. we'll have a bin under here yeah. in yeah. a drawer, yeah. the, the sink, yeah. and then this will be a dishwasher integrated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then here we'll have, these are going to be made bespoke and they're going to have nice glass um, windows. So mm. that will keep it kind of feeling airy because I think mm. if it was wooden, it would feel quite heavy. So now we're actually thinking as well that we're going to do underfloor heating because we wanted to do that. 
Yeah. But we weren't sure if it was going to be feasible, but we've spoken to a mason and he said it is possible. So we'll have, we're going to lift up the floor anyway, because we wanted to replace the flooring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking if we can put down the underfloor heating, it will be really nice and cozy in here. Mm -hmm. But also we then can get rid of those radiators under the window, yeah. which obviously yeah. take up quite a lot of space. Because this at the moment is yeah. not very practical. No. And in here we'll make that a pantry, so yeah. with nice drawers yeah. and we'll do all really nice. And then this door here is going to be a fridge. So we'll change the hinges, we'll be on this side so it opens uh, this way. Okay. Um, and it will have a fridge, freezer, and so that will be really practical for when we're cooking. So you can obviously, you've got your pantry, the fridge. We're going to make the island look more like a chateau yeah. table like they had in chateau kitchens you always have these big kind of butcher's tables and so it'll have the nice details of the legs and then on the on the island we're going to have just a small sink so that we can do like washing vegetables or filling up pans mm. and that sort mm. of thing do you want to see the drawing john <laughs> <laughs> the idea is it's going to look like a table so it's going to have nice legs mm. And then on one side, it's going to be open with the shelving and some drawers. And on the other side, we'll fill with some panelling to hide where we're going to have the sink and all the kind of drainage and, and dishwasher. dishwasher. No, uh, do we have a second dishwasher? Oh, sorry, there's a fridge. Sorry, there's a small fridge. Oh, there'll be also a sm small second fridge on this island, but it will be hidden. Mm -hmm. Now, with regard to work surface, mm -hmm. what, what's your thoughts on that? I think we're going to go for something quite chunky in wood so that it feels yeah. like a table. Maybe somebody has an idea whether we can use wood as a work surface and how we can best kind of maintain it or what sort of wood what we can use. Of, yeah, yeah. Let's see what people suggest. Yeah. Are you going to have a table? Yep, yeah, there's going to be a nice big farmhouse kitchen table. Oh, in, with the same sort of legs? Are I you think... Going to that? No, I think we'll probably find something secondhand. Okay. I don't think it needs to be too matchy. I think that's the no. whole feel of it. It has to feel like it's just kind of... Mm. old pieces that have been sort of here forever mm. um but, but yeah still really practical because we'll have all the nice appliances yeah. concealed yeah. yeah but the wine fridge is going to go out the back <laughs> philip's compromised on that i compromised because i found out that you can get a really nice but more commercial type wine fridge for a, a quarter of the price of a show wine fridge and so i can have a much bigger one but it's going to be in the back kitchen you've got a big cellar here philip and the cellar, of course. It's a massive yeah. cellar. We're not still sure about what colour we're going for, but we're definitely not having orange, so that's, that'll be a relief to everybody. Yeah. You haven't had that discussion yet, Anna. <laughs> no, we still need to figure out colour. A lot of people asked me recently how I managed to run a guest house, renovate a chateau, deal with two infants, girls, an adult wife who's a woman, and all the paperwork for the business and the family. And yes, I'm not alone. As some of you might know, Anna helps me from time to time with these tasks. But key is to be organized. And I came up with an elaborate system of hierarchies and priorities, and most of it is in this very room. The urgent to-do heap with important documents. I turn them around and use them also to make sketches, which is eco-friendly and very practical. You just need to make sure that you keep those sketches on that heap because, as I said, those are the important documents which need immediate attention. Behind me is the heap of equally important documents that need immediate attention, where I don't have the time to give them the immediate attention they require. Those would typically be invoices and all the things Anna asked me to do. There's a third area, which I call the files. Here the documents are perfectly organized. I can't remember what's in there, but I'm sure if I would browse through them, I would, for instance, find the documents that the tax office requested a couple of months ago. There's one last but crucial element in my system, and that's this here. I call it the archive. Most of these files are unnecessary, but whatever comes in here stays there for about seven months, because you never know. However, my life has changed, and now having to deal with this crazy amount of influencer deals, invites, awards, I think I could improve the system just a little bit. A couple of weeks ago, Anna started learning how to edit videos. She went on an online learning platform called Skillshare, and Skillshare happens to be the sponsor of this week's video. So I borrowed her computer, logged into her Skillshare account, Philip Superhusband2000, which is the password for all her things, and tried to find a class for me. 
Oh, Skillshare has an incredible amount of classes. You can learn how to draw, how to make patterns, all about photography, editing video, running a creative business or develop a brand. There's so many inspiring classes and I did find something to help me. A class called Mastering Productivity by Thomas Frank. Thomas is this perfectly organized, straight to the point person, kind of the opposite of me, but I think that's why it was so helpful. I learned how to better use a calendar, create more efficient to-do lists, and very important, a new way of dealing with emails. That's where I really needed a new strategy. There's no advertising on Skillshare, so you can stay focused. And in a really short time, I learned how to improve my productivity. I don't know what your passion is, what skills you would like to learn, or what tasks you would like to get better at, but there is an exciting class for you on Skillshare. And because Skillshare is our partner this week, we have an exciting deal for you. You can have a full month's free trial instead of two weeks, and this for the first thousand of our subscribers to join. So make sure to click that link in the description, get inspired, get creative, and learn something new. Hey, you've got my computer. I've been looking for that for the last hour. Didn't you see the memo in the shared calendar? What shared calendar? <sighs> Philip, two to four, Skillshare time. Told you, so much potential for improvement in this family. It's a beautiful morning, and you might be able to hear something. That's my dad. It's like literally nine in the morning, and he is already out here with his chainsaw. I'm going to go and have a look what he's been up to and what he's got left to do. I think he might have already broken about three chainsaws. <laughs> so, let's see. Hey, Dad! I'm going to come and get to you, but it's like you're surrounded by branches. Oh, hey, Dad. What do you think? We're getting there? It's looking amazing. That's a lot of wood being cut. So for now, Dad, what have you been doing? Well, so we take off all the brush, that's the thinner uh, branches, which uh, we're going to put into the chipper and uh, sort of recycle that, put it onto the beds and... Uh, that Make some really mulching. Good. Mulching, yeah. So, uh, add nutrient, but also keep weeds down. And then these, the bigger pieces, therefore a very eco-friendly log burner. And uh, that's going to go down the tree. Because sycamore, a lot of it's sycamore, but there's also some uh, uh, beech. This is beech over here, and yeah. that's a really good burning wood. It's just going to take uh, time to dry out, but uh, the longer it dries, if you can give it two or three years, that would be really good. And do you think there's any of the wood that we can cut into bigger pieces and try and save it? Ah, well, yes. So I think that big sycamore there, or acer, uh, that you perhaps saw right at the start, a oh, big one over there, there's some good length. You watch your feet, so put your walk. And that, the one at the moment that's propped up on the on those branches there. But the trouble with this one here, where well, I've got my hand, yeah. it's split here, so that's not going to be any good, so that's just a firewood. I don't think these are big enough, uh, but there might be some others down here, uh, we'll see. There was some cherry uh, that I saw, and cherry is a nice wood for turning on a, on a lathe so I don't know if we might be able to salvage something from that. There isn't unfortunately uh, oaks which would have been really good for roof trusses but uh, maybe around yeah we are, I haven't discovered yet there might be some oaks. <laughs> when the trees that come down have sometimes are diseased or have got begun to have some rot in them I noticed on a couple that I was um, cutting up there was some blackness inside so they maybe weren't as healthy anyway a new chain on my chainsaw yeah it's very fortuitous because I brought a chain over with me and it just broke it, uh, well it was on it's been uh, probably over a year that I've had it on so. what time is uh, tea break what time do you want me to bring you a cup I of tea I would say about another 15 20 minutes okay
follow me? Yeah. Come and follow me. What have you found? Look what we got here. Mistletoe. Mistletoe. So your Christmas decorations are ready, ready for you. Oh, that is perfect. So where are you going to put this? Um, oh, I don't above know. A door, above doorways? I think it could be nice in a wreath. As or well. in a wreath or above a door yeah and then you get to kiss your favorite person <laughs> underneath the mistletoe so should i put it in philip's office then yeah maybe <laughs> i'm spilling it i thought oh. it's, tea, it's about tea break i think dad yeah I thought Dad would need a few chocolate biscuits with his tea. To keep him going. Yeah, mm. keep his energy levels up. Mmm, not good. Oh, Philip, I like your haircut. Yeah, thank you. Nobody says anything. Can people see the haircut on the vlog? Well, I would need to go on the other side of the camera. Should I do that? See if you can do that. Philip, I think that looks very, yeah, distinguished is the look. Distinguished? Yes, particularly with the sun just picking out those fine chiseled features. I like distinguished. <laughs> John and his father, he's a real hero. For four days now he's cutting down trees, the trees that came down with the storm a couple of weeks ago. I was busy doing very important influencer slash expert stuff. But he just keeps going and going and going. But there's one thing he can't do by himself, and that's shredding all the branches. And that's where we use one of my favorite machines, the Ferrari red one. I think you know it. Could you help me? Okay, oh yes, please. I, I'd like you to learn how to operate the shredder today. Are you ready? Very good. First of all, this switch from off to on. Off to on. Yes. Yeah. Well done. And now you pull here. Yes. Harder. 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 Okay, Ella, I think you're too little. I'm afraid. Well, it doesn't work. Oh, we can do that. This. Uh, no, don't do this. Why? Because that's where the oil sits. And then you get all oily. Then you try. Yes, I will try it. Do you think you can put the, the branches in here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get a branch, grab a branch. Yes, put it in here. Good job. Yes, very good. No, don't do that. Good. I think it's never too early to teach your children how to use a shredder. Once they're older, they will thank you. What does it say here? Well, we are not allowed to go inside. No, you shouldn't go inside. Why not? Because otherwise we are going to be all little. Are you going to be all little? Yeah, Did you hear, John? You shouldn't go inside, otherwise you get all little. All little? Oh, yes. Oh, you're chewed up into small little pieces. Yeah. Now that we announced the chipper, everybody's coming in. Get the car with the trailer. Might need to move the bench. Do you think it was a good idea to ask Anna to do that? Move, move. Anna, move the bench. <laughs> I don't think she ever drove the car with the trailer attached. No. Oh look, Anna's coming. Anna's coming, driving the trailer for the first time.
Oh, I'll let you do that, Philip. It's too heavy for me. Anna, you can do it. I need to film. No, no, Other way around. Yeah. How, how tight do we need to be? Very tight. Come back then to me. Come to me. <laughs> to me, to you. Right, this way. Out of experience, it never worked the first time. And there was always, always a problem that yeah. was jammed or something with the seat. That should be it. I forgot to. What did you do? I forgot to <laughs> turn it on. Ah, oh, no! No, f Sorry. I forgot to turn it on properly. Oh, no. Ah! an afternoon of wood chipping. John still doesn't stop. We are far from finished, but you can see we made, I think, a lot of progress. And now that you can see what's behind it, you can also see how much John did in these last four days. It looks like there was an army of lumberjacks walking. There's only one! But there was only one, a, one no. John. <laughs> His back is really hurting. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Not good look at this, John, it's crazy. Oh, no. And even Jenny, look, Jenny's helping as well. Jenny. Amazing teamwork. In the backwoods. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. <laughs> Look at this. It's good, All this, John did it these last four days. Your back is hurting, you say? It is a bit now. And I think it's a cup of tea time. A cup of tea in the West Midlands. I agree. Yeah. I think we'll get the uh, trailer and the chipper over there. Tomorrow. tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you think we can finish tomorrow? Uh, well, it depends. It depends a lot on Philip. And what he does. Well, tomorrow is Thursday, so it's editing day. <laughs> First and Friday, so I'm not sure how much. If it's, if it's a good team effort, who knows? But we can use Anna and, and train one of the children. Yeah, yeah.
<laughs> but they're almost finished with all the brush. There's only that little bit left over there. It's looking great. <laughs> A bit of clearing. Yeah. Wow, you are you're a, an amazing team, Mum and Dad. <laughs> You've done a great job. Oh, thank you. But you're enjoying it, aren't you, Mum? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love it. this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching